Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide for Vintage Story, shall we? It's clay time, everyone. It is time for clay. So let's get working. All right, it's, uh, I mean, it's like pretty late in the evening. It's 11 p.m. This is a good time to do some, some throw some clay around do some pottery all right so i'm going to put clay onto my toolbar at the bottom and hold it in my hand and then what i'm going to do is hold shift and right click to set it down and just like you nap tools you're going to get a recipe window that pops up and it's asking you what do you want to make all right and i remember i have immersive cursor so i'm going to hold alt so i can just move this around without moving the camera and we can make bowls, planters, cooking pots, crocks, jugs, ingot molds, flower pots, crucibles, vessels, molds for better tools, watering cans, an amazing assortment of stuff. Right away, what I would like to make, okay, um, is I'm going to make uh, a storage vessel, okay? We're gonna make a cooking pot, we're gonna make some bowls, and then we're going to get into uh, making a crucible and some molds for better tools. We'll also make a crock. Now, that's a lot, right? But check this out. I'll make a storage vessel. It actually, like I said before, uses much less clay than you'd think. Now, this is going to be different than napping because instead of being brown, the voxels are green. And this means to add clay. So we've got like a lot block clay here. And all you have to do is just hold down the right mouse button, not the left mouse button. Left mouse button still removes something from the square. You just push the right mouse button and you hold it around. Now, I should have said this about napping before, but this game is actually really cool. You don't have to worry about making a mistake. So like if I right click here in the middle, where I don't need any clay, the game isn't gonna add any clay. And if I left click here and I take out clay, I can just put it back on with right click. So the game is very friendly in that way. All right, we're gonna finish this off. Now look at this. Now they want us to add like a whole layer right here. So now we're gonna do something different, which is we're going to um, push F, okay? And when we push F, this means select the tool. And we're gonna actually change it from a one by one chunk of clay that we're adding to a three by three chunk okay now when i put it down uh what you want to do is the center square where you add it for a three by three it will basically add clay to every square adjacent to it so it'll do three by three but with the square that you're clicking being the middle of a three by three so if i do this okay and if i push it over here at the edge uh, we're good to go and again it's not going to waste clay so you can just like right hold right click and just jam out now, um, whoops, I added too much clay right there, so I don't want that. Okay. Now, we're going back to um, a section where we only need one, so I'm going to push F again and go back to just one piece of clay. And we're just going to kind of put this along the edge like this. Now, notice how, by the way, um, once I get past that first phase, I can add clay to the middle where I don't need it, but you just have to left-click to remove it, all right? Now, this is another awesome thing. Look, they're asking me to do the same step again. If I just push F, okay, you can click duplicate layer here. Uh, and now I just hold right click. And honestly, I don't even need to aim. I just push it anywhere I want and I will just replicate the process. They want another floor of it. I'm just holding, I'm not even moving my mouse. I'm just holding it in the middle and pushing right click, right click, right click, right click. And I duplicate the layer. I'm building up the walls of my vessel. This is so awesome. And you see, each time I do this, each voxel doesn't take a unit of clay, just each layer. So it doesn't take that much, all right? And now I'm almost there. I'm going to need to eat. I'm like starving to death here. This is tough work, this clay building. But I want to kind of finish it, all right? Now it wants a new thing. But what let's say I did want to eat. Check it out. All I have to do is eat. I'm going to eat all this. But I'm going to take a break here. 
eat, 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 eat these roots, chow down. Do I have anything else to eat on me? Nope. Chow down. Eat it all. Fill it up. Good. Now I'm going to go back here. I'm going to select clay again. And look, once I select clay in my hand again, the voxels reappear and I just resume the project where I left off. Um, we're going to push F to change the tool back to uh, a one by one. And then we're just going to kind of start tapering in the top of the lid to our vessel. So we're making a clay vessel. Boom, 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 boom. And then now we need to make this shape. So I'm going to push F and I'm going to use the two by two. And um, for this one, it's like the bottom right is the anchor point for the tool. So if you click on the bottom right, then it will fill in the square above you to the northwest and to the west, I guess is one way of imagining that. And then now we need a big one. So we're going to go to F and we're just going to go three by three. And we're going to just kind of uh, fill in these. And again, you can't really do extra here. So you can just kind of <laughs> do this. And remember, you're only using one unit of clay for the whole layer. So don't worry about it. And then they want us to do this. So let's just push F and duplicate and just hold down the right mouse button. And we just kind of pile it on like that. And now we're done. We have this storage vessel and it unfortunately though look it says raw storage vessel so what does that mean i'm going to pick it up with my right hand and for the time being i'm going to put it over here okay i'm going to shift right click it onto that tile raw means yes i made it out of clay but i need to finish it all right so what that means is uh it's not done it needs to be fired Okay, so we need to make ourselves some kilns. And I'm going to light this fire, by the way, and cook some more food for our, us. So I'm holding shift and I'm right clicking until it lights. And now we have plenty of illumination here and it's, you know, midnight. Okay. So uh, we're smoking ourselves out. Luckily, we don't die from, you know, carbon monoxide or smoke inhalation. And that's great. This is done, but it's raw, and we're going to need to fire it. To fire it, okay, what we're going to need to do is dig a kiln. Now, a kiln is going to require sticks, grass, and logs. So let's just choose this square right here to make our first kiln. I'm going to take my shovel, and I'm going to just knock it out. And now I'm going to go use my empty hand. I'm going to pick up the kiln, or I'm sorry, the storage vessel, and I'm going to hold shift and put it down in there. Now that it's in there, okay, what I'm gonna do is select my grass, okay? Once we have our grass selected, so we've got our grass, you hold shift and you right click and you start to fill in the pit with your kiln, okay? And you just keep right clicking until it's done. And the great thing about the game is it'll tell you what you need to do next for your pit kiln. If you were wondering, by the way, Remember, all you have to do is just push H on anything in the game. Here's our storage vessel, right? And if we click clay forming and then click pit kiln in the survival handbook, it'll tell us this is what we're making. So you just place a clay product in a hole. So we put our kiln into the hole and then you start putting in dry grass. Then you add sticks, then you add firewood, and then you set it on fire. You can also use peat or coal if you have those instead of firewood. So sometimes on the map you can find peat and it's really, really useful uh, for supplementing your firewood supply because, you know, that's in high demand. All right, we're gonna take our firewood. I'm just gonna put it over here and then we're going to uh, take our sticks and swap out like this. And then we're just going to kind of hold shift and right click sticks and put them around this. And then we're going to use the firewood shift, right click, right click. And look at that. We make like a sweet box around this thing. Okay. And then we're going to put firewood on the top. Now this whole thing is ready to go. And we're going to set this on fire. Okay. Stand away from this. Don't burn yourself. I generally burn myself on my own kilns. I tried to put it off to the side, but when we come in and out of our front door, we're going to need to not set ourselves on fire if we can avoid it. So you want space in your home to do your pottery work. This will take about a day to fire, if my memory serves. 
And what happens then is you will have a hardened vessel that you can use. Now, the reason I made the vessel right there uh, is I got this pro tip uh, from a friend on the YouTube comments that vessels say that they're supposed to be used for food and they are best used for food because they help preserve it longer okay but you can also just use them as bigger reed baskets you can see a reed basket only holds eight and a storage vessel will hold 12 so it's just a bigger storage container for us now in the meantime let's start napping out some other stuff i want to make a cook pot so i can get cooking i could make four okay but i'm just going to make one to start out with and we're just going to add some clay and I am not adding clay. I am taking clay off. So, uh, because I'm on uh, the 2x2. Two two. If you're not on the 1x1, one one, terrible things can happen. But it's okay. Remember, the game lets you... You don't mess it up. You can't just break it. You just have to add and re-add. At the very worst, just destroy the clay and start over. Okay? And we're just going to make a little uh, cooking pot. Now, if you make four... You see how small these are? You can fire four at once. So that's kind of... Um, if the game is like, hey, you can fire more than one of these in the same kiln at the same time, uh, it will let you make a lot of them. So uh, and, and a quantity equal to how many you can fire, I believe. And then that way you can save some time. Speaking of saving time, let's duplicate the layer. Oh, let's duplicate the layer. And duplicating the layer is wrong, so let me get rid of that. And F1, here we go. Uh-huh. All right. So we have a cooking pot. Done. I'm just going to leave that there. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to show you something cool. I'm going to push E, and I have this shovel head for when I want to make an extra shovel, and I might as well do that now. Because my shovel is not doing very well. And then I'm going to use my empty hand, and I'm going to push shift right... Uh, I'm going to just right click oh my hand is no longer empty whoops and now that I have this picked up by uh, not shifting but just right clicking I'm gonna go over here and you see this square that I'm on that I'm bouncing on because my bed is bouncy I'm gonna actually push shift and put this in the corner and now I could if I wanted to on one square if I space this right I could put all four of my cook pots or what I like to do is one bowl one cook pot, rather, and three bowls all around it. You can stack multiple items on one uh, voxel, one big block, as long as it's small enough to do that. All right, what time is it? 425. How's our cooking doing? It's doing so well. All right, so that's great. And I've got some food. I'm going to put it here. Now, I did want to move my, uh, my tool rack, so I'm going to open up my basket. And I'm just going to kind of go ahead and throw these seeds in there and these ferns and just some random other stuff into there so I can have enough space to break this off. I'm just going to break this tool rack, all right? And what it does is it gives me the tool rack and it gives me the tool. And the reason I'm doing that is because uh, I want to break this too. I don't want to have my bed in a hole anymore. I want to just keep my base relatively <laughs> flat if I can. So I'm going to kind of fill in this. And then we're going to break this and just give ourselves a little bit more space to work with. Fantastic. Now I'm going to take my tool rack and put it here. And then I'm going to take this new shovel that we made and just kind of put it in there until we need it. Right? And then I have uh, an extra axe, which I'm going to put on there too. Give myself a little more space. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm going to get rid of this grass and this grass. Okay. Okay. Now let's fire some more. Let's work on some more clay projects. Get out of here, grass. All right. So I'm going to right-click. And we're going to make some bowls. And I'm going to make four bowls at once. Show you how this works. So if I want to make four bowls at once, because I can fire our f all four at once, uh, all I have to do is just kind of use this. But let's just push F, and let's do the two-by-two. Two. Bing, bing, bing. Do, 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 do. And then we're going to actually... Remember, we're on the bottom layer, so there's, like, all this kind of forgiveness on the bottom layer where you can just right-click everywhere and it doesn't matter. Oh, I said that, and then I did that. All right. Within reason. Okay. And I'm actually going to do duplicate layer. 
This won't be perfect, but it's going to be really, really close. And the, the reason it's messing up is because um, it's kind of funny. Like I said before, there's no penalty on the first layer because the game is not adding to their added layers. But if you try to duplicate, if you've been lazy like I have, then it will duplicate you adding a layer to the middle section of the bowl, which is not what we want. So I'm going to just kind of punch all this out. And so the price that we get there is a little bit more work. Okay, so we have bowls that are ready to go. And I could be like, hey, bowls. And I'm just going to like put them all around, you know, on the different parts of this tile. Uh, yep, put it over here. And then we can just put it over there. We've got like some nice, you know, bowls and a cook pot ready to fire. Okay. And let's ask ourselves, how are we doing on food? We have a bunch of roots right here, but we're not cooking those because we don't want them to rot. All right. And this is going just fine. Uh, we're actually almost out of food again. My God, man. I'm getting a little hungry. Uh, I'll eat one more. Good. And we'll just put this over here. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to take my shovel and just punch through my medium fertility soil. And I'm going to uh, take my open hand and pick up this and then pick up this. The bowls will stack. Okay. And I'm just going to put all four of my bowls down here. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then we're going to go and have firewood, sticks, and grass selected ready to rock. However, uh, I'm going to take out one bowl. All right. And there's a reason I'm doing this. Uh, here, get get this bowl out. Uh, can I just pick it up with my hand, maybe? Yeah. I want to fire the, the cooking pot and not a fourth bowl. And I don't have enough grass to do both. So I'm just going to kind of put that in there. And you can see I can actually fire three bowls in my pot. So if this was an ideal world, I'd have enough grass. I'm shift right clicking to put in the grass to just fire it all but I don't right now um oh actually I don't I need more grass anyway okay well then fiddle dee dee and that grass I broke by the way I could have just harvested it with my knife and I would have had enough grass so you want to talk about embarrassment wah wah but we're okay because we're just going to take my hay bed and put it there now we have a place to sleep and it's 7 in the morning anyway, so we can just proudly go outside and get some grass and be happy about it and say, good morning, grass. We're here for you. We want to start firing. And grass, luckily, is extremely easy to get. And it's a beautiful day in Vintage Story. Look at this. And here's our ridiculous little mound house doing its amazing things. And our knife has broken, but we automatically equipped our other knife. And now I'm going to uh, step back out of this pit before I burn myself alive. Add this up. Put in some sticks. Put in the firewood. And you'll see I can light this up. This doesn't need as much firewood as that big storage vessel does. And I burned myself. That was that trumpet noise. That was me burning myself. I always burn myself on my own fire pits. I'm terrible at being safe. It's kind of amusing. All right. We've got food. We've got food now. We've got two pits going. And look at the lighting go coming through my doorway as the sun moves across the sky. I mean, just a fantastically beautiful game. All right. So now we have a lot of jobs to do. We need to get some more grass so we can fire some more things. All right. By the way, I got a great tip from my buddy Alex. The obsidian that I've seen in a few places around, not too many places, I believe I marked it on my map, uh, where I saw some obsidian. Yep, right over here. I'm going to go get that because uh, obsidian is kind of 
something that's new to me as a resource, the uh, game that I uh, have been learning on did not have Obsidian. And so I didn't understand, but I should have used H to check it out. Obsidian can be used uh, like Flint for the creation of your early game tools, but it has more durability than Flint. So it's just strictly better than Flint. How amazing is that? Let's get this cranberry bush and let's harvest it and move it into our cranberry bush world. Okay, so I'm working my way to the obsidian. Also, both Jane and Alex echoed the point that I need to plant some roots around so that I don't destroy all the cattails in the region. All right. Um, this is basalt. This is basalt. Here's the obsidian. It's like super, super dark, right? And so I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to leave the marker on the map because I might be able to find some deeper. All right. We can make more baskets. We can have some food. It's raining. It's coming down. All right. Now watch this. Let's just say, uh, do I have enough space for this? I really don't right now. Let me put down some soil. This is such a great biome that we started in. It's like beautifully fertile. We can do some awesome farming here. Very encouraging. Actually, I can always get more space because, you know, I could just eat. Eat, eat, eat. God, that's good. Tastes delicious. All right, so in a couple of days, the beginning of our cranberry bush, some even faster than that, operation will really, really kick in. I'm going to start... Uh, I'm going to plant this other cranberry bush right here, I think. Yep. Tremendous. Okay. So, one thing I also want to show you guys... Well, no, I can't show you just yet. I'm going to dump some stuff off in my storage because uh, I've got too many things on me. My bags are filled. Okay. So, let me go ahead and just kind of put this away for now. I'll put away this obsidian and this basalt, this extra bowl, uh, this extra clay. We don't need it. We don't need to carry the clay around with us. We'll do clay work at night. I have a spear, but I want... I have two spears, but I want more, so I'll make some more. Actually, speaking of that, let's make... Let's try to make an obsidian spear and see if we can uh, notice any appreciable differences in it. I'm going to carry the food with me. I'm going to leave my firewood here. And that's good. So check this out. Let me go to my obsidian stone. And let's just nap it. Uh, oop, or not nap it. Oh, it takes two to nap it, huh? You have to use two together. Interesting. So we can make... Um, an obsidian spearhead. You can't make arrowheads with obsidian, which is really bizarre because I was... I have... I own obsidian arrowheads that Native Americans made, but um, anyway, whatever. So I'm going to nap this out. There we go. Now we have uh, an obsidian spearhead. And I'm going to make it. Now check this out. Let's just see if there's any comparison. Minus 2.3 hit points, 135 durability. It... So this is just... Yeah, it is just better. It does more damage and it has more durability. How about that? And it does more, even more damage when thrown. So we're just going to use this... I'm going to make just exclusively spears. Because I kind of want to be hunting. I don't like to hunt <laughs> normally in this game... Or any game, like I told you guys, because I hate killing animals. But I'm just going to tell you, I don't like to do it, but they're digital animals. And we're going to need to have the resources. So this is just how it has to be. All right? So we're ready to go if we see anything. Remember, if you push shift, you're like sneaking, crouching. And so you can creep up on the animals a little bit better. Now, right now, what I'm actually doing is I'm going to go back here because I want to show you guys something. I'm going to put these extra spears in my backpack. 
This was a great tip also given to me on YouTube. I had forgotten about this, but I mentioned it earlier in the the guide that whenever possible, you want to use your bare hands instead of tools to break stuff or interact with stuff because it doesn't take durability. You can actually break cobblestone with your bare hands, and it's at the same speed as using the wrong type of tool. I mean, this blew my mind. Of course, you can also do it while holding cobblestone like I'm doing here, but... I guess the idea is what I'm doing is I am breaking apart the cobblestone by picking it apart piece by piece from the loose mortar, but it still just seems preposterous that I'm punching it, but whatever. We want this bony soil, by the way. We're going to take as much as we can get and be happy with it. My shovel has broken, right? And we left our good shovel back at home, but that's okay because I'm just going to get more cobblestone for our house. I'm loving the cobblestone on the exterior of the home. I want to keep expanding it. And this ruin is very large. I'm just seeing if there's anything more for us that we can find when looking around. Also, I want to show you guys that if you use these um, cobblestone slabs, okay, and you put them on the floor, you can effectively prevent bad guys from spawning in your home beyond just having torches because they can't spawn on squares that have either stone piles or uh, firewood or slabs like anything on it okay so i think i actually now have all of the materials out of this section fantastic all right so i'm gonna get some more wood definitely need more wood and just explore i mean look at this God, it's so awesome. It's just wide open. What adventure might lay beyond here? Oh, look what we found, everybody. Look what we found. Pete. Yes. So good. All right. Well, I said I needed a shovel. Let's go get a shovel. Or, actually, I, do I have any more obsidian? I don't. I could just make a shovel. I mean, it'll take me two seconds. So, obs uh, this Pete is tremendous because it can stack really well and we can just use it for uh, firing our clay and save on wood so we don't have to chop down as many trees which is a tedious process so I'm just going to take this shovel that we just um, well actually we didn't make a shovel we made it a shovel head and then we're going to take this and then this and combine it and make ourselves a shovel and be really happy and go ahead and start digging up this peat. Peat digs up super easily, as you can see. And we're just about to get piles and piles of this stuff. Look at this. It stacks up, okay, in these little bricks. You can uh, pile them up, or we can just store them in our vessel, our baskets. So I'm going to mark this on the map, right-click, and we're just going to make it this kind of light color. I'm going to say peat. Oh dear, I had the caps lock on. And I'm just going to put this and save. I don't need to get an infinite amount right now. I can always come back here and get more. But this is just an oasis. A, a, a veritable oasis of peat. Uh, none of these are obsidian. The obsidian are like super dark. It's awesome how they look. Mm-hmm. Now you cannot visibly see, this is medium fertility soil right here, and then the peat is like this kind of, um, it's very brown and green. It looks like it's spotted, mottled. That's the, the way that you visually see it, but luckily the game will just tell you what kind of block it is in the, up, in the top as well. And bam, look at this. We have a ton of peat, and I mean a ton of it. We're actually full up on our bags. So let's go home. Let's take in our windfall of peat and just celebrate and here is some obsidian just chilling so now we can make a little bit better tool right there fantastic we are going to need some more sticks but it's only you know two so we got plenty of time and yep see our stuff is still firing away and indeed does take a long time Oh, also, darn. Um, let me see if I have a torch lit. 
I got this great tip as well. If you put up a torch to light your house, all you have to do um, is take it down when it's on fire, and then it will preserve its durability, and you can just relight it, like replace it later. But if you leave it there to burn down, then it just becomes a useless stump. All right, so let's take our peat and put it right here in our bag, and then it's going to be like, you can watch me this. I'm just holding shift right click, and I'm making a big stack of it. And we're just, just like our fuel pile. And it smells really bad, and it's right by where we sleep. And you don't have to do that, right? I mean, there's no actual reason uh, necessarily to stack it up like that unless what you're trying to do is save some space, which is kind of what I'd like to do. All right, I'm going to go to the outside of the house, and I'm going to work on expanding our uh, cobblestone, make sure that we have enough to do this everywhere. The roof is not done, and that's okay. We'll finish it later. But if I go inside, I should be able to now uh, start pushing this back somewhat. Yep. And then I can just kind of stick that there. There we go. And actually, I mean, why not just uh, break this down and make this space even bigger, too? I guess it will take one more brick, but that's okay. I mean, I'm okay with it. And this is bad guy central, but you can see that the bad guys are gone now. So let's just fill this in forever so that we don't have to worry about the terrifying monsters <laughs> that were living there. Okay. And I'm going to uh, simply fill it up with soil. I'm not going to waste my cobblestone down there. I don't really have any reason to do that. Just make sure I get every tile. There. And let me pick these up. I'm honestly, like, this will grow in a day, uh, but I'm going to break it. I hate to do it. I'm sorry. But I want to just finish my little project. And now we're just about done, honestly. Look at that. Uh. Uh-huh. There. Almost done. We, we don't have quite enough, but we're, we're so close. Look at that. Look at this huge house. And then also, too, some of this I can... Uh, not that one. But some of this I can just get rid of. I'm actually going to make my ceiling a little taller because I just like having a taller ceiling. And it's daytime, so we can afford to do this. Okay. I stepped in my own fire. Say that the trumpets. They're just like, womp, womp. And I'm like, yeah, you got me. All right. So from here, I'm just going to kind of uh, build this. Actually, no, no, no. Get rid of these. Let's make this taller if we can. Yeah, we can because we can just go like this. The plan is eventually to bring this even higher. I like this tall point here. We could, like, you, part of me is like, oh, a skylight would be so awesome, but enemies would just walk and fall into it, and then it wouldn't be so awesome. Players in the way. Isn't that always the case? All right. Now, now we're cooking. God, this is great. Look at us. Look at this huge interior. Yes. I'm going to break this. I don't want this here. Great. Okay. Okay. Honestly, I wish I could break this back part, but this is okay. This is okay. Our house just got bigger by leaps and proverbial bounds, okay? Now, another fun thing we can do is just get a bunch of grass. We, we, we still need, always just need like a million grass. Do I have any roots on me? I have roots to eat, but no roots uh, 
Okay. Alright. That's fine. I'm gonna go back home. I'm getting a little wet. I don't have an umbrella, but that's totally cool. Alright. And in here... I'm going to... Uh, just put down more of my peat. It's nice to stack it because it doesn't take storage space, right? So you just hold shift and right click until it's done. And you can just hold, um, actually I can hold control and put even more. Yeah, 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 I forgot about that. And then you can just hold control and left click to just take it off and shift. I'm just going to stack this up to the sky. And so we have these, like, towers of peat over here. And grass, you say. Grass? How dare you, grass? Well, first of all, grass is actually okay to have inside the home because you get to cut it and use it, and we need a lot of grass. But I could also, if I wanted... Oh, God, not like that. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to have to do this a little differently. No. Uh, oh, I gotta eat. Now, we can also move our baskets, okay, out of the way, and start taking advantage of the bigger space at some point, but we'd have to clear this out, and we will, right? So I'm gonna eat some food. And we need to get more food. More food. There's never enough food. All right. So we have an axe. We're good. I'm going to take some roots. And we'll put this away. Let me open up some more space. Do I have anything else? I oh, I have actually... Uh, these can go over there. Terrific. And then that can go there. This can go there. Bony soil. Do I have any on me? Yeah. Stack up the bony soil. And the cobblestone can do there for now. The obsidian. Uh, we'll save it. Alright, great. So, with these roots, okay, all we have to do is go by the water and plant them. We don't even care. We can plant them in the water for all we care. We also don't really necessarily care about uh, the soil fertility. But this is medium... So if I just shift right click, I don't have to till this land. It's not like farming in the traditional sense, I believe, with the Cooper's Reed. You can just throw it down and it will make reed. Reed is like a pretty hardy thing, just like grass. Trees, you can do the same way. You don't need necessarily really like fertilizer or anything fancy. Just plant them down. So I'm going to plant some more just so I don't run out. But I also need some to eat. So that's good enough. Now I'm going to come over here. Um... And I don't need to be using my axe, but I kind of am using my axe. I need some sticks. They're great. And then we're going to use my knife. And I'm doing what I just said I wouldn't do, which is take the roots. But I do want to have enough food for the evening. Seems smart. Seems like a pro, a pro move to have enough food. All right. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to go this way and try to get to... Oh, my God. Shangri-La, people. Look at all these flowers. I'm just holding right-click. This is going to be our berry operation. We really just have to hold out right now until we get these berries. Oh, we found another ruin. Look at this. Yes, there's another ruin here. We might find some awesome stuff. I'm going to break all of this. I don't care. Come back to my house. Come back to my house. Bushes here it is so this is a ruin do i have any empty space oh we got plenty here's some obsidian heck yeah and this is a dead um a dead bunny so you can actually hold shift right click with your knife and um harvest this thing and pick out some meat so we'll take it you'll find dead animals in the wild that other things have killed and just take what you can from them. Alright. So here's a ruin. I'm not going to really do too much with this right now. Except mark it. Because it's so good. And we're just going to say... Um, you know. 
ruins. And save it. We'll come back later, but it's getting dark, as you can see. And I don't want to be uh, completely left out. All right, we got to get home. I'm going to run, which is always ill-advised. <laughs> I'm holding control just to run. This is killing my hunger, but I want to get home without consequence. I don't want to get have any trouble. No troubles for me, please. All right, and these are my cranberry bushes right here. So I'm going to start planting these right away. And we're just going to continue our vineyard growing this way. There. All right. Now we're set. And we're going to go inside. Now, I wanted to get some logs so I could make a door, but we just didn't have the time to do it because I'm slow. Time passes quickly. But boom, we're inside and we're safe and we have a lot of peat to burn and firewood to cook with and berries to eat. And we are rolling. Everyone, this is a great place to end the episode. Look at this. We've got obsidian tools. We are firing our first bits of clay. We've expanded our home. We found another ruin. We're doing beautifully here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day. And I'll check you guys next time. Take care.